Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain initial value and final value theorem. Along with that, I will solve three interesting examples based on initial value theorem and final value theorem. So first of all, I will explain what is initial value theorem. See, initial value theorem is used to identify value of the function at time t is equals to 0 plus. To identify the value of function at time t is equals to 0 plus, we use initial value theorem. You may have function in time domain or in Laplace domain. If you have function in terms of time domain, then initial value of the function will be limit t tends to 0 function. And as if you have function in Laplace domain, then initial value will be limit s tends to infinite s into f of s. See, t and s both are reciprocal to each other. t is time and s is Laplace domain means frequency domain. So here we have t tends to 0 and s tends to infinite for initial value theorem. See, initial value theorem that is applicable only if it follows following conditions. So it is not like directly by having this equation we can identify initial value theorem. There are a few conditions that should get followed. First condition is f of t should be 0 for t less than 0. So function should be 0 for t less than 0. That is first condition. Second condition is function must not have impulse or discontinuities at t is equals to 0. So as if function is having impulse or discontinuities at t is equals to 0, then we cannot identify initial value of function. And third condition is function should be regular function. Regular function means there should be larger number of poles compared to number of zeros. So these three conditions that should get followed to identify initial value theorem and that we can identify by using this equation. Now I will explain you final value theorem. See, final value theorem is used to identify value of the function at time t is equals to infinite and that we can identify based on time domain function and Laplace domain function. If you have time domain function, the final value of the function will be limit t tends to infinite function and if you have Laplace domain function, then final value will be limit s tends to 0 s into f of s. Here also, final value theorem that can be applicable only if it follows some conditions. Like first condition is system should be stable and system should not be marginally stable. See as if system is marginally stable then system will be oscillatory system. So in case of oscillatory system or marginally stable system we cannot identify final value that is first condition and Second condition is system should not have more than one pole at origin. So these are the conditions that should get followed to get final value theorem. Now I will solve three interesting examples by which you will get to know how we can identify initial value and final value and how to follow conditions. So let us solve first question. In first question, we have function in time domain. See, function is f of t that is e to the power minus t ut and we need to identify initial and final value of f of t. If you want to calculate initial value, then initial value is f of 0 that will be limit t tends to 0 function f of t. Here function is e to the power minus t ut where if you substitute t is equals to 0 in this, then e to the power 0 is 1. So initial value is 1. And if you want to calculate final value, then that is f of infinite. That will be limit t tends to infinite f of t. Here function is given to us. Function is e to the power minus t ut, where if you place t is equals to infinite, then e to the power minus infinite means 1 divided by infinite that will be 0. So initial value is 1 and final value that is 0. Right. 
Now I will explain you this calculation in Laplace domain. To get Laplace domain, here let us apply Laplace transform to this function. So we will be having f of s e to the power minus t Laplace transform will be 1 divided by 1 plus s. Now I will calculate initial and final value along with Laplace domain. So here initial value that will be limit s tends to infinite s into f of s. Here we have f of s, f of s is 1 divided by 1 plus s. So here we will be having s divided by 1 plus s. Now to get solution here let us take s common from numerator and denominator. So here in numerator we will be having 1 and in denominator we will be having 1 plus 1 by s. If you place s tends to infinite in this then 1 by infinite is 0. So we will be having 1 divided by 1 plus 0 means it is 1. So you can observe here we will be having one value means calculation is same for both. Now if you identify final value using Laplace then here limit s tends to 0 that we should have and s into f of s that you need to solve. Right. Here function f of s that is given to us f of s that is 1 by 1 plus s. If you place s is equals to 0 in this then 0 divided by 1 plus 0 that will be 0. So final value that is 0 that you can observe. Right. So by both of the ways we are having similar answers. Now let me plot this. See we have a function that is e to the power minus t ut where initial value is 1. At t is equals to 0 we have initial value. So here we have initial value that is 1 and as time progresses with u of t you will be observing that value that is exponentially decaying and it will get 0. So this is what the function that is e to the power minus t u of t. Right. See here we don't have any issues like I have discussed about conditions. It is following all these conditions. That's why we have initial and final value. But there can be issues regarding these conditions. So let me solve second problem. See in second problem here we have a function that function is 1 divided by s minus 1. So here with this function if you observe we have one pole and this pole is there at value s is equals to 1. What it means? It means if you plot this pole in s plane then real value is 1. So that pole will be appearing somewhere over here. What does that mean? It means here pole is there in right half plane. If pole is there in right half plane then system becomes unstable. Right. So with this system here we have a pole in RHP and system is unstable. If you have unstable system then one cannot identify final value. See in conditions I have told. To get final value system should be stable. It cannot be unstable to get final value. So here we cannot identify final value. Now let me explain what is this system. See this system is 1 divided by s minus 1. If you want this system in time domain then you need to apply inverse Laplace. If you apply inverse Laplace then you will be having function in time domain and that will be e to the power t u of t. And if you plot this over here then at time t is equals to 0 value will be 1. Right. But as time progresses this signal that will increase exponentially. Right. As it increase exponentially at infinite time it is not possible to have final value. But here initial value is possible. Right. As we have initial value that is possible let us identify that. So initial value will be f of 0 that is limit t tends to 0 
function in terms of time domain here function is e to the power t u of t if you place that function then you will be getting initial value if you substitute t is equals to 0 in this then e to the power 0 that is 1 means initial value is 1 and you can check it with the use of Laplace domain equation where f of s that is given to us so Laplace domain equation that is f of 0 that is equals to limit s tends to infinite s into f of s here f of s that is there with us here f of s is 1 divided by s minus 1 if you place that then here we have condition of limit s tends to infinite so let me rearrange this here let us take s common from numerator and denominator so we'll be having 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by s if you place s is equals to infinite then 1 by infinite is 0 so this will be 1 divided by 1 minus 0 so that is 1 right so here by both of the ways we have initial value that is 1 you can observe right but final value is not possible why the reason is here we have pole in rhp as pole is there in rhp system is unstable for unstable system we cannot identify final value now i will solve third interesting question of this video here we have a function f of s that is omega divided by s square plus omega square we need to identify initial and final value if you observe this function then with this function we have two poles see one pole p1 that is there at plus j omega and second pole that is there at minus j omega means in s plane one pole is there at plus j omega over here and second pole is there at minus j omega over here if pole is there on imaginary axis then system is oscillatory system and system is marginal stable system if you have marginally stable system or oscillatory system then one can say final value is not possible if you observe here i have mentioned the condition see if you have marginally stable system then final value is not possible right now let me explain this function in time domain if you apply inverse laplace then you will be having function in time domain and this is a function that is sin omega t u t right now i will plot this function here we have amplitude on vertical axis and time on horizontal axis so sin of omega t u of t that will be appearing somewhat like this where we have this function for t greater than 0 as per u of t so this function is sin omega t u of t right where we have value for t greater than 0 as we are multiplying u of t and if you want to calculate initial value directly you can say it is 0 over here as per this function but we can apply equation as per the explanation so here we have initial value f naught as per time domain equation is limit f t where t tends to 0 is there here f of t is sin of omega t u of t if you place t is equals to 0 in this then you will be having 0 and same calculation that one can do based on laplace domain as well if you apply laplace domain equation then f naught is limit s tends to infinite is there here we have s into f of s here we need to place f of s in laplace domain it is omega divided by s square plus omega square to solve this here let us take s square common from denominator then we will be having s tends to infinite 1 by s into omega divided by 1 plus omega square by s square where if you substitute s tends to infinite then 1 by infinite that is 0 into 
ओमेगा डिवाइड बाई वन प्लस जीरो सो जीरो इन टू एनी थिंग इज जीरो सो विथ बोथ ऑफ द इक्वेशन वी हैव सिमिलर वैल्यूज राइट सो दैट इज हाउ वन कैन फॉलो द प्रोसेस टू आइडेंटिफाई इनिशियल एंड फाइनल वैल्यू ऑलवेज रिमेंबर हियर वी हैव फ्यू कंडीशन राइट फॉर इनिशियल वैल्यू थ्री कंडीशन आर देर फंक्शन शुड बी जीरो फोर टी लेस देन जीरो फंक्शन शुड नॉट हैव इम्पल्स और डिसकंटिन्यूटीज एट टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड फंक्शन शुड बी रेग्युलर फंक्शन मीन्स नंबर ऑफ पोल्स शुड बी ग्रेटर देन नंबर ऑफ जीरो एंड फॉर फाइनल वैल्यू टू कंडीशन आर देर सिस्टम शुड बी स्टेबल इट शुड नॉट बी मार्जिनली स्टेबल एंड वी शुड नॉट हैव मोर देन वन पोल एट ओरिजिन एंड बेस्ड ऑन दिस आई हैव सॉल्व three equations in next video i'll be solving few more questions that will resolve your understanding further more thank you so much for watching this video